Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D. And today we're gonna to grab our hair asset that we've created in Blender and take it over into Character Creator. Now, one important thing that I've done is I've made that this character here exactly the same to this character in Blender. So first off, I'm gonna right click and select that um, hair asset, File, Export, FBX. Now I want to turn on Selected Objects Only. I just wanna export that hair. Let's select uh, our name and export. Let's come back into Character Creator 3. Let's go Create Accessories. And let's select the hair that we've imported, I mean exported, open. And there we have our hair asset. At the moment, if I wanted to move it around, our origin point, so if I just go to the moving tool, is all the way down the bottom. But what we can do is come into our sliders in here, our modifiers, and down the bottom pivot, we will set that into the middle. And then if we had to move the hair around, uh, for instance, it was on a different head, we can move it around up and down, left and right. From here in the modifiers tab, under modifier, we're gonna go transfer skin weights, and it's gonna be a hair, and let's go apply, and then we can close that now. And then for instance, if we were to change poses, we can see that the hair is now staying where it should be. Oops, it's the exact same one. Let's kind of move it around, up against the wall. And so you can see that hair is now in place. From here, we can just use the textures that we uh, were using back in Blender. So for instance, the diffuse, I'm just gonna go hair strip D. Then up here, I'm just gonna go hair strip. Here it's come in black. I think we need white from memory. So let's come into adjust color down the bottom here and invert the selection. And let's click close on that. Then we can see that we've got our all our hair textures in there. Specularity is a little bit off. Um, and we'll open up the same texture in there. So we go hair strip, but once again, we can come in and adjust, maybe invert, and then we've got full shininess. It's not exactly what we want. So maybe something a little bit dull like that. And just so there's a little bit of shine on there. And now with our hair asset, if we want to save it, we can go into custom. And for instance, hair, let's go plus sign in there. We can call this hair one. And now that is saved in there. So for instance, if I were to go new project, I can now come in and technically apply the hair to her. And there we go. So now she has the exact same hair as the previous character. If we want, we can select it, come up to the top. Sorry, let's go into the move tool and we can move it up a little smidgen. And there we go. Now to change the color of the hair, actually I had to have a shower moment to work out how to do this. So what we come in to do is into the materials, select the diffuse, come down here into adjust color. What we need is a white color, not a brown or a dark color. So let's invert that color. From here, we can start changing these settings. So if I go saturation, we'll build that up a little bit. The hue, I kind of want a yellow color. And then we can start playing with, you know, what type of color we actually want in the hair. And that's kind of like a dirty blonde color. Can just come down here and add a little bit more. And there we go. That's how we grab hair from Blender import into character creator, update the colors and apply it to our model. Now, please, if you haven't, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Keeps up to date with my content. If you're having any other issues, please leave a comment below and let me know and I'll see if I can help you out.